hello my chariots welcome back to my channel this reading is for cancer january 2021 your monthly reading cancer what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at your love your life and your career and finances and see how you're starting off this new year so i hope everyone is safe and healthy and happy uh we're now into January, we're leaving 2020 behind, and we're starting 2021 with a clean slate. So I hope everyone is rested and ready and charged, ready to take on this new year. With that being said, Cancer, let's get started. I'm going to pull a few tarot cards and then a bunch of oracle cards, and we'll see how this year is starting out for you. This is the Crystal Vision Tarot, and all the cards I'm using today will be listed in the description box below. All right, and I'm going to pull three from the Spirit Animal deck. For cancer January 2021 we have the loon the hawk and the squirrel All right and then the romance angels let me actually put these over here so we don't run out of space there we go all right very soon and release your ex and for affirmation deck pulling two cards and then one final card I'm going to pull from the keeper of the lights so this is a card that you can reflect on as we close out the reading. And we have charity. All right. Okay, my cancers, what do we got here? So my cancers, we start out for love with the death card now this is the number 13 card and when 13 is reduced in tarot that is reduced to number four and that is all about your stability your foundation within yourself who you are and as we can see in this death card you know we have this this dark ghost-like figure but there's angel wings that are attached to him the light is shining down from the corner and you can see all the beautiful butterflies um, this angel is looking over 
this woman here and it's really all about transformation you know it's the rebirth so when it comes to love and your love life the situation that you're in now or the connection or the person that you're thinking about this is all about a transformation and we have these I think they look like lilies but they're I can almost I see the hearts almost inside them as well too which is really beautiful so this is all about the you know the end of a cycle that you're leaving behind and you're starting off when it comes to love you're starting off something new there's been a rebirth there's been a cleansing and you are going forward uh, with new new ways of thinking new programming uh, a totally new chapter is occurring for you and with this here the spirit animal we have the loon and the loon is all about being intuitive it says listen to the song in your soul trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude recognize that you are unique and that you are loved so cancer whatever it is that you're going through when it comes uh, to your love life i think you know the new path forward which you're seeing within yourself is you are listening to your soul and you are listening to your intuition and you are doing things differently this time around um, and I'm looking here you have uh, these loons which look like beautiful ducks and you have these little babies in the background uh, so you just you know you're you're taking time to relax and go within yourself and actually seeking to find the answers that you have been searching for and that you have been looking for with the romance cards here we have very soon and release your ex so it says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and then here release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so again what i'm feeling cancer is you are taking uh, everything that maybe you've carried with you up until this point and you are releasing it you are letting it go and you are starting fresh and by starting fresh you know very soon that things are going to turn around for you things are going to go in a better direction and things are going to be more positive when it comes to your love life uh, so if you are currently in a relationship with someone i see that as it taking off and taking on something new taking on a new meaning and if you are not or when you are thinking about a person that you're not with or that you've broken up with or you're currently in separation from and you're just no longer together uh, i i think you realize that it's time that you know if things always continuously cycle the same way nothing will ever change so i think in this case you finally realize that however you were approaching love prior to this it wasn't working it wasn't what you were looking for it wasn't um it wasn't going the way that you wanted it to go and you realized that something had to change something had to be different so there was this death and this transformation within yourself when we look at life i'm looking at personal growth when it comes to this row here and we have the three of swords so cancer there's definitely some heartbreak that you're getting over okay and that you're working on uh, we have the three swords in this woman's woman's heart and we have the roses here so obviously this has to do with love uh, I almost feel that you know the ground that she's standing on almost looks like water so you could just see the emotions that are flowing that this is a very painful process for you that you are going with when it comes to this transformation that you're dealing with right now and we have right here the hawk that says the messenger spirit is sending you messages open your greater vision to see the signs focus on priorities and eliminate distractions you have a bright future let yourself ascend to new heights 
So again, Cancer, it's all about letting go, releasing that past and starting fresh, starting new, looking at everything with a fresh set of new eyes and listening to those messages that the divine is sending you. They are definitely sending you signs and symbols. Uh, you just need to be open to hearing them. And your affirmations that I pulled, one is, I am the dreamer of my dream. So you have the power for your dreams to come true, whatever it is. And it also, this one is, when I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. So again, this is all about continuing to follow your intuition, focusing on that inner voice and that inner guidance that you hear within you. And if you do that, you realize that you have such a bright future ahead that you can work with. When it comes to career and finances, we have the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is all about truth. It's about clarity. And again, here I see the butterflies and the red roses. So the butterflies represent transformation. <coughs> the red roses to me represent love and passion. Uh, we have here the squirrel, always prepared. You are the expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. Don't let life's distractions take you off course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you all that you need. And then for your Moonology cards, we have communication is the key. This is new moon in Gemini and you're very close to achieving your goal gibbous moon. So when it comes to your career in finances, I feel that you're in a very good state and that this is a reminder, the ace of swords, that if you have something new, you want to try a new passion, a new beginning, a new side job, perhaps that you're interested in trying, um, something that, uh, brings clarity to you and love and passion, um, there's something inside you that you're looking to try and you're looking to work on. And if that's the case, it's saying here that, you know, you are the type of person that can go forward and make things work, that you're always prepared like a squirrel. Uh, you're um, cheerful and you're fun. And it's a blessing to everyone, especially if it's any kind of work that is helping others. And that to just remember that communication is the key and to don't forget you are close within your goals, whether you realize it or not. Uh, you're very close to uh, developing this new opportunity, this new gift that is being presented to you by spirit. And overall, Cancer, if you look at the card that we pulled by the Keepers of the Light, it was charity and it says, prayer and contemplation, connect with heaven, ask and you shall receive. So again, I think this is uh, a message for you not to give up, uh, to brace, embrace yourself while you're going through this death and this transformation of a new you when it comes to your love life, your personal, your spiritual growth, and your career and finances. With the Ace of Swords here, new opportunities are on the way. You are the dreamer of your dreams. You have the ability to manifest and make anything that you want come true. You just happen to, you just have to be open to those uh, visions. You have to be uh, honest in communication and you just have to realize that you are so close to achieving what it is that you want to achieve. So Cancer, I hope this resonated with you in some way. And if so, I will see you again soon. Bye.